Well, here we go. It's the reason that we're all here at El Paso County Raceway tonight. I'm track announcer Kurt Hansen, host of the Lucas Oil Race Central radio and television show, and the official dirt track announcer for all things Blood, Sweat, and Tears Racing, BST. Have to give a huge, big, massive thank you to Joe Bellum and his team and everybody at BST for putting on this phenomenal show tonight. It's truly, we are at the epicenter of dirt track racing tonight here at El Paso County Raceway, as I like to call it the Paso. Welcome one and all to what will be the best damn dirt track show you will ever see, as we have all the stars of, as I like to call it, the four wide slide, the greatest show on dirt. That is the Craftsman Dirt World of Outlaw series. And there you go, fans. I can see all the videos being rolled on the cell phones out there. If you can get a free hand, stand up, give them a salute, clap your hands. There go the fans, literally on call. Waving their hats, waving their hands. Fireworks goes off. Pace trucks starting to speed up. And there is the best tribute to motorsports fans anywhere in the world. It is the Four Wide Salute by the stars of the World of Outlaws here at the Craftsman World Outlaw Show here at El Paso County Raceway. So cars, well, trying to come up to speed a little bit. As they go back to their two by two, proper starting positions here at the Paso. Again, I'm Motorsports Insider and host of the Lucas Oil Race Central Radio and Television Show and your official track announcer for all things BST. Welcome to El Paso County Race Week tonight in a beautiful September night as we now have all the cars in their proper starting positions. Starters looking them over and here we go. It's Johnson, Jason Johnson at the bottom. Donnie Brook behind him. Johnson slides a little high into two. He's looking for some grip up there. He'll steam down into turn three. That newly revised turn three, the big berm up there, a lot of clay. Oh, Brad Sweet working hard. Kind of a surprise, Jason Johnson, who was quick in the heat races, but set sail, slow mover down at the bottom of three. He'll get out of the way, we hope. Johnson clears, we go caution. So here we go to the restart. So field coming around, kind of a skew. Starters looking him over, could get the green, and there we go. Green flag back here at the Paso. It's the Almy's machine, Brad Sweet on the outside, Jason Johnson on the bottom. Sweet's gonna look for some grip on the top. He may sail into the bottom. He does do that as we speak. He goes mid corner. Jason Johnson a little bit up higher looking for that grip. Cars on the bottom. Movers, I believe. Donnie Schatz is there. Can Schatz pull it off here at the Paso? There goes Jason Johnson doing what he's done all night, which is just, God, I hate to use a phrase again, but high, wide, and handsome on the top. The Ollie's machine right there. I believe that Schatz at the bottom looking for grip. The Brad Sweet Machine working hard. Now a move to the bottom. Can he make that stick? I don't think there's a lot of grip down there as it's gone dry slick a long time ago. They go side by side, down to the one now. Ollie on the top. He should find some bite up there, but he's leaving that door open. Mover on the bottom. Best battle on the racetrack right there for second and third. But track looking fantastic tonight here at the Paso. It's a beautiful night here. So set it up again down into three. So he marks down into one, back him in hard. Get that little push up to the top of two. The battle for second and third is certainly working out to Jason Johnson's favor as Johnson's just setting sail. Gotta be getting close here. Leader by. Let's 
So again, welcome to all of you to Craftsman World of Outlaw Night here at El Paso County Raceway. El Paso, as I like to call it. If you can hear my voice, you can see us on TV. Also 24-7 video on demand, VOD as we call it, and at racecentralmedia.com for all that we do. So there's your leader of the 41. He's been your leader all night. Somewhat threatened by the sweet machine. I kind of like that, the sweet machine. David Gravel is in the hunt early, and he was your quick time in the heat races. Donnie Schatz making his almost perfect storm so far as he sailed off the top of three that newly rebanked turn three and four. All that clay up there. So the bad boy machine's got some work to do. I hate to say it, but all these little border skirmishes, second on back, just playing right into the hands of Jason Johnson. He's led every lap since we went green here at the Paso. We will go caution here at the Paso. Starters looking him over. We go restart. Here we go. So again, it's Johnson and Sweet. Sweet tries to look at the bottom. He's right there on the bottom, a left shoulder off of Jason Johnson. He's going to try to get a steam down into three. He gets it done. He goes to the bottom. It's side by side. Johnson now slides up to the top set of four. He'll get it done past start finish. Thought Sweet had it done there. It looked like he had a lot of grip. But I don't know what Jason Johnson had for dinner, but I bet he stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. He is just picking him up and laying him down here at the Paso. So a good little battle for second and third now. Uh, as I mentioned before, it looks like the fellows are trying to pick up some of that moisture at the top of three and four. Is it right on the cushion this time around, Jason Johnson? Then everybody seems to like the bottom of one. The track looking absolutely fantastic. Usually, by the time we've got a 360 show this deep in the race, might have a little hole down there at the bottom of one because everybody seems to like to pinch down in. They're kind of diamond the corner off, but Jason Johnson goes in deep to one and then goes mid corner off of two. Now he's working that top side. He goes deep into one again, pushes a little bit high at the exit of two. He'll steam off into three. Now he'll jump on that top cushion. As you see right there, literally right wheel on the top of that cushion, but he's finding the grip up there because there's a lot of moisture. Uh, we asked him to Joe Bellum did put quite a few uh, extra degrees of banking to the track over the past few weeks, getting ready for the Craftsman Show, and also some more clay, so that might be moist clay up there that's really giving these guys a lot of extra grip. If it's out there, they'll find it. Cars around, got a spinner at the top of two, and here we go. So here comes the Ollie machine again. Backs it in early into three. Everybody follows. Jason Johnson up on the high side. This beautiful shot from our BST drone. Gives you a great aspect here as they go down to turn one and they come off two. You can see him working that big top line up on the cushion there in three and four. And it's a very steep drop off now. You do not when you get off the back side of that thing, kind of like the old Watsonville where you disappear off into the sunset in the back of the berm and then come up flying back up onto the track, four wheels in the air. We talking with a lot of the drivers earlier tonight. They are really loving this D-shaped oval here at the Paso. Very excited to be here, but just like the NHRA, uh, coming to altitude, coming to 6,000 feet, really creates some real issues. But all the teams seem to have settled into it nicely. No motor problems that I was surprised of. And certainly nothing wrong with the 41 at Jason Johnson. So 
first, second, third, fourth, pretty much static right now here at the Paso. The battle for second and third is certainly working out to Jason Johnson's favor as Johnson's just setting sail. So here's the key. After Donnie Schatz going over the top of the berm in turn three. So Schatz making a nice climb through the field. So looks like we have a caution on the racetrack. I mean, there it is, over at the bottom of turn two. Down the back stretch, they'll come under bird's eye view of the starter here in a moment. Slow pace now being set by Johnson. He's on the bottom, and now we got Brick Green. Let's get it on. So move on the bottom on the sweet machine. Can he make it stick? Crowd's going crazy. Now Brad Sweet drops to third. Still working hard though as he goes to the top side. No, folks, that's not the misters here to hit the pass. So as leader comes by, that is it's just good old dust. And this track starting to dry out a little bit. This track will change a lot. Every lap now till we go checkers. Johnny Shots puts the big move on the Ollie's machine a couple laps ago. He is working hard. Can he come back from, was about 16th or 17th place to win here? Well, he's, he's got a whole handful of championships. He certainly thinks so. I'm just wondering if maybe he's running out of laps or maybe running out of tires. As he likes it on the bottom. There's your checkers. Holy cow. Caught me off guard. That came out in a hurry, but there's your deal right there. Jason Johnson, the 41, your inaugural winner here at El Paso County Raceway. Donnie Schatz comes storming back from a big miscue early on. Gravel was in it to win it. Brad Sweet was in it to win it. And damn, Jason Johnson just let it lap every lap from the start and won it. So there you go, that's the 2016 version of the Craftsman World Outlaw Sprint Car Series show here at El Paso County Raceway. Big thanks to all the people at Craftsman in the World of Outlaws, Joe Bellum, the BST crew, all the great staff here at the Paso. And wrapping up for tonight, I'm Motorsports Insider and host of the Lucas Oil Race Central Radio and Television Show and RaceCentralMedia.com. I'm your track announcer, Kurt Hansen, the official track announcer for all things dirt track racing in the Rocky Mountains. And for all of us here at El Paso and all of us here from Craftsman and the World of Outlaws and the BST, have a safe drive. We'll see you next time.